Okay, we are at Cliffs of the New State Park Campground. Cliffs of the New State Park Campground, and Kiki and Finn are looking out the window. We practically got this place to ourselves. There's a few camp campers here and there. Um, there's one over here, and there's one way down in that area. Um, but we're going to walk around this place, y'all. And for those of you that have never been to this place like us, um, you're in for a treat. This place is extremely well taken care of. But I thought before we uh, do that, um, I'm having some coffee. Sandra's having, what are you having? A peppermint mocha. Peppermint mocha. And she put it in the freezer yesterday to get it kind of slushy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's what she had. And uh, But at any rate... Um, Finn, what are you doing? He's trying to walk across the table. I think he wants Sandra. So let's just take him and give him to Sandra. Okay. And Kiki's trying to get her. And Kiki up. is trying to dig to <laughs> dig for buried treasure. Yeah, what in to, the world? She's trying to, to get I her hear bed. you. Go at it. Get her bed the way she wants it. Woohoo! Look at her. Okay, she's going to make it all nice and comfy before she uh, sits down there. But what I wanted to do, guys, is just give, give you a little overview. They have this posted near the bathroom. I'm going to show you the bathroom, too. But I figured since we have it right here, um, I will just go ahead and tell you. Check out time. Well, let's just say check in time. Check in time is 3 p.m. 3 p.m. I was really amazed about this, but they do allow two camping units per site. No more than two camping units per site. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I don't ever. I always thought you could only have one camper per site. So I'm. That's a. That's new to me. Well, that would explain that really long site we saw earlier. Yeah, and that's something I, we're going to show y'all. Um, they have some really long camping sites out here. Check out time is 11 a.m. They let you stay uh, a max of 14 consecutive days. And, uh, and then, but, but they give you this paper when you arrive. So it's got numbers or, you know, like on duty ranger and stuff like that, just different information. Um, and so very well, you know, this place is extremely organized. They are looking for camp host. They are looking for camp host and, um, they, uh, allow the camp host. I don't think there's a limit. As long as you're here working, that give you a free site. November through March is $22 a night, and April through October is $26 a night. Now, the electrical sites, um, they're full hookup. Now, what, uh, what, if you go online, you're going to see this, um, it, it'll say 30, 50 amp outlet water, and you'll notice where it says gray water disposal. I have, this is the first time I've ever heard that referred to as that. Cause I was like, okay, mo, you know, any RV or camper knows that you got black water and then you got gray water. You got a black water tank and you got a gray water tank. When they said gray water tank, it really confused me whether they had, um, sewer or not, but they do. Every site that is electric that we have seen is a full hookup electric water and you got sewer so if you see that gray water disposal that's actually um sewer that's actually the sewer look at this guys november through march it's only 27 dollars a night april through october 33 dollars a night y'all 33 dollars a night and so that's cheap we're staying four nights and it's only costing us 132 dollars that's absolutely incredible. And so, but they do have cabins. They've got cabins, um, $45 a night, um, November through March and April through October is $58 a night. And so, but they do have a, um, a handicap spot, fully paved, fully paved. Um, very nice. And we'll show you that also. And so these sites are very well taken care of. Um, the overhanging limbs are trimmed back. Um, I, guys, I just, I got to tip my hat off to these people. It's absolutely just incredible. And so, uh, but other than that, they have nice concrete fire pits, nice concrete fire pits. We're going to show you guys that. And so, but we're at number two, this is where we're at. And the handicap spot is right here. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. It's just a great big circle is all it is. A loop. Yeah, a big loop. And so, um, and you come in, the, the visitor center is just down, um, just down the road, just a hair. You could walk to it from here. And so, but other than that, guys, we are going to go outside here. And I'm going to show you our site, and then I'm going to show you that handicap site, and just show you some of the other sites also. What I like about this site here, this is number two, site two. Um, they, it's kind of in the ground here, and one of the YouTubers that did uh, a review on this site liked it because of the small children that he has. Um, it kind of ke keeps them corralled in, and uh, which is cool. I like it. I, they, it's all graveled. And, uh, but here's the fire ring here. Now they do have a burn ban currently in North Carolina, so we're not able to burn, but I do like the fire ring. Um, but let me show you the hookups real quick. Here's a site here right behind us. And they all are basically the same here. You got full hookup, sewer, electric, and water. And this is 50 and 30 amp, and there's a light on each one very well taken care of very very clean um this uh nozzle here is a little bit different i've seen one of these first time i've seen one of these i've seen some of these like this but this one here when i guess when you turn it off the water goes down in it i guess to keep the the pipe from freezing and bursting uh but what we're going to do Oh, water pressure is awesome. Water pressure is awesome out here. 